All right, we're gonna do a full gameplay on Terra. My least favorite guardian, but she can beat certain gods and Thanatos. What do you know? Thanatos is one of the gods she can beat. Now, I personally feel like if you know how to play against Terra, she's easy to beat. But if you fight someone that doesn't know how to fight against Terra and they're playing a melee god, you can beat them. So here we go. Terra's like A minus, I want to say. And she's definitely not one of my favorites. Yeah, she's definitely one of my least favorite, but you know, she can definitely win. Oh, uh, we're actually gonna go Mage's Blessing here. We're gonna go extra health potions because Thanatos damage. And I can either go Blink, because I can Blink out of his ultimate, slash Blink to engage. And actually, I think I will do that. I can Blink out of his ultimate, Blink to engage, and all that good stuff. So that's the, the plan here. Now, you know, a lot of people criticize my Terra, but I mean, I just don't, I just dislike her cooldowns and how long her animations take. That's really it. And when I'm not playing her in a Guardian Gauntlet style, I think I can play her better. So we'll see. Did I say Chili Chuck? Okay, just double checking. I mean, she can clear pretty fast if the, your opponent allows them to. What your opponent should do is they should hit you to draw the minion aggro. And that'll allow, uh, that won't allow Terra to clear as instantly. So, again, if your opponent doesn't know what they're doing against Terra, you can win with her. Alright, so they're going after blue buff. I don't know if they're actually going to try and take it though. Nope. Alright. Not going to have quite as good clear here, but... Still pretty good. Good thing she didn't actually get my sounds there. Okay, that was a ghost hit. Weird. Alright, alright. Just a lot of healing. We're just gonna have to stay pretty far back for a little bit. I don't like using my pillar for healing because of how long the cooldowns are, especially when the minions are up. Um, unless I can use it before the minions get here. But I don't really have a choice here because she is level five and I'm not. That does is the only god with two gender bent skins, huh? She got red buff, that's fine. Her ult. Before in that, she misses that. Okay, she's ulting out. But we could blink on her to maybe kill her, actually. I don't know if I. Nah, I don't have enough damage. I would go for it, but not enough damage. Alright, we'll, we will back here. Alright, alright. I'm just happy to be fighting a melee god as Terra. It's a lot better. Uh, we have tier two Bancrofts, a lot more damage. It's always good. Oh, the Bean Regime. I actually fight this guy uh, every now and then. He's a cool guy. Very nice. Yeah, but I promised you guys a full Terra gameplay when I actually felt like it, and here it is. Oh, whoops. A uh, fun thing you can do with Terra's walls is you can actually break them from the insides there, but I wasn't at the right angle. If you're on the insides of Terra's wall, you can break them. I'll try to show it next time when I have a chance. Kind of already showed it earlier, actually, in the first wave. Yeah, a lot of damage, but not enough. The full bank cross that would have been enough. She actually healed. She healed me there by damaging me, which is kind of nice. Is more damage, but you can almost never do that as Terra. You can almost never use the two shattering the two for damage. But there I was actually able to, which is nice. It'll stop her back, but I don't have anything up. Okay, okay. Uh, this is gonna suck until we get more cooldowns. 
As we get more cooldown, this will be nicer. She's dead. Or should be. Nope. Unfortunate. Am I dead now? Yep, I'm dead. Uh, Michelle barely saved her. Plus, the long casting time on my two. Even if I use my two in time, it only does 78 damage right now. Which is just not enough. My favorite thing about Terra is no matter what I do when I play her, if I max my three, people tell me max the one, or max the two. If I max two, people tell me max the one. And if I max the one, people tell me max the three. I think it's kind of funny. I've accepted it at this point, though. If you're looking for some actual good gameplay I have on Terra, then I have an AMC versus Terra versus AMC edited video. That one's really fun. So I would recommend that. Nice. I could have ulted earlier there, but I was worried that she would get scared and run away, and I didn't want her to run away so fast. Yeah, that's good. Once you get Bancrofts on any Guardian, you get tons of damage. This Terra gameplay is basically the Christmas present to you guys. Belated Christmas present. Alright, let's go get Boots. We almost have Mage's Blessing involved. That's 10% cooldown. That I desperately need. Alright, let's, uh... Ah, blue buff's not up yet. We'll go to lane. Then we'll come back. So, I actually have been making a tier list. I was pretty much ready to show you guys. I spent about three hours of a few days recording, explaining long explanations for every single god. And I checked the footage, and it's all blank. I made a mistake with the recording with OBS. And... All of it's black screen, so I have the audio for it, so I can edit it to show which gods I'm talking about during it. Ooh, am I dead? Yep. But the entire thing is blank, so I have to go over and edit the whole thing, and that's going to take forever, but it's better than not doing it. I have changed the tier list a tiny bit since I recorded it, but it's still pretty much the same thing. So just keep that in mind. It's my first tier list ever, and I'll keep it updated with the next season. But I, I feel like it's pretty accurate for all the Guardians. I put Terra in A-. minus. Like, I don't like playing her, but she's still viable. And again, I have explanations for each of the gods. What I liked about my tier list is I made the assumption that you know what you're doing with the god, and your opponent knows how to play against that god. That is an important as assumption. And why a lot of gods are lower than they should be, or higher than they should be, you know? Do you want to fight me? We will alter. Dang, she killed it first. Okay. I wanted to ult before dashing because if I did my 3-1 then ulted, that would have been better, but I just had a feeling she might have gotten out of it or something, which is stupid. Should have definitely used my, uh, should have definitely used my other abilities. Oh, whoops. Should have definitely did 3-1 then ult, is what I mean, instead of 3-ult-1. It's just that the animation for Terra's ult is so long. I hate how long her animations are. They always... They always throw me off because there's so much longer. Most Guardians, they either have long cooldowns or long animations. Terra has both. But hey, they are strong abilities. I will say that. Nope. Should have stayed under the tower. What are you building? Tier 2 Bulwark? Probably going to be a Pestilence, which is fine. I am pretty certain that we do win this late game. This is a very much a matchup that Terra can win. It's just Dantos has strong early. And again, should not have left tower, but it's whatever. Got I'm a little bit tired. It's 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, that's that's kind of the downside of ulting early, is that she's like, oh, 
Oh, I'm about to die, and then she gets out, you know? That's why I don't like ulting at the start of engagement. It's always best to start ult at the start of an engagement, but then they just run away. So it doesn't always work out. That's unfortunate. Alright, nothing's up. I got it back. She already fully backed. Um, ooh, what do we want? I guess I'll go in Aegis. Aegis is good against Stata. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, but might as well use it now. So we'll need Obsidian's or Spirit and Aegis pretty soon. We do nothing right now. We just need we need uh we need penetration pretty badly as well. And of course, you know, we need anti heal. Maze at that hit her, she was pretty much out of it. Nope. You can just all get out of it. Yeah, you can pretty much walk out of most Terra abilities, unfortunately. Especially if you have any sort of movement speed. Alright. Like, if I try to 3-1 her right now, she is too far, where my dash will take too long, and she'll actually be able to get out of it. But if I can get her a little bit closer, like now, then we can kill her. There we go. Yeah, if I did it while she was a little bit too far, my 3-1 just would not have caught her. Just too much movement speed. See, that's good, that's good. I always say you should play Risky as Guardians, because if you don't play Risky, you just slowly fall more and more behind. Terra's a little bit different. She's pretty late game oriented, and she's kind of, I don't know. She's just, she's just very different from other Guardians. So I don't know if the same applies to her, but that's my play style, is to play Risky. She does have Vision of Us because of Thanatos passive, but we'll heal up slowly enough here where she won't. And I can maybe go for my blue buff in peace. Yeah, she lost vision of me because I healed up enough, which is nice. Uh, for those that don't know Thanto's passive, he can see, or she can see, I don't know, the gender bet skin always gets me. They can see, uh, Thanto's can see anybody below a certain health threshold. They have vision of them. You just got red buff, it's fine. Alright, we have cooldown. We're about to get Divine Ruin or Spear of the Mages. And our core items are coming online. I like it, I like it. Yeah, Terra's strengths is her early clear if your opponent does not uh, take the minion aggro. And just the, the burst damage she has if you can land the abilities, which is not always the case. And she just ult out. If she ults out here though, she loses uh, loses power my cat okay now I can kill her <laughs> okay nice she came back perfect perfect we're coming back early game Thantos is starting to become no more we'll do as much damage as we can here it's only gonna be like two autos Maybe three. Nice. Having the cooldowns is helping tremendously. Tremendously. Uh, let's go Spear and then we'll go Divine Rune. That's fine for me. Yeah, it's always hard to decide when to use the ult. Because if you use it too early, they just can they just run away and you can't can't use damage if you use it in the middle you get the damage off but then they can usually get away if you use it towards the end sometimes it's too late I don't care could have been good no nope. or next time would be in the middle of a fight you know where she's half health nope that was on me thought she was coming towards me ah Okay. 
Nice. Good stuff. Although she is slow immune, whenever she's auto-attacking, that lowers her, you know, her movement speed. You know, auto-attack penalty. Like, when I'm auto-attacking, I'm moving slower. And that allows me to confirm my abilities. If she wasn't auto-attacking me, she could probably walk out of my two uh, with these. So, hey, that works out to my advantage. Very nice. Keep the stones up for extra damage. Actually, does ex extra damage apply to Phoenix? I don't know if it does or doesn't. Either way, it looks like we are going to get Phoenix here. Just uh, another another good fight is all we need. Oh, a red buff just came up. I cannot take that. That is way too risky. Looks like she's getting a Heart Seeker or possibly a Transcendence. All right, let's get Divine. Was that? No, that wasn't. That was an alt. I don't know why. I just... I thought... I saw an alt, but maybe not. I was like, there's no way. There's no way. Now I'm seeing things. Polly's good on Terra too, which is what we'll probably get. See, I was going to alt there, but then she ulted out, so I'm glad I didn't. So now that, that was just a free alt. Great. Next fight, we pretty much get her guaranteed. If I hit my 3-1 and then ult, it's going to do tons of damage to her. Tons of damage. This is going well. This is going well. The early game was a little bit oof, and I had some misplays, but... Ooh, that silence works to her advantage. Thank God for these cooldowns. I, find I can actually use my ability soon. Okay, we'll just heal unless she comes in here. Uh, I want to kill her, but I cannot right now. Alright, she's not staying. I can't go for Bull Demon because we don't have enough damage and she can steal it very easily. So we'll just have to wait. There we go. Engage. Oh, that's Chris Tonk. Is she gonna come back down? Oh, she came back down in the worst place possible. She lined up my ability perfectly. Yeah, I wasn't low enough where I had to age so it was gonna be a little bit scary after, but we're fine. This is good. This is good. Yeah, believe it or not, I used to be number one Terra for a while. Uh, around the time ranked, ranked leaderboards came out. It's not like anyone played Terra, but... I was number one Terra for a while. It's just over time, I feel like. I just began to hate her more and more for the simple fact that she's so easy to outplay. Like with my other Guardians, I always have a trick up my sleeve. But with Terra, it's the same thing every single time. And if somebody knows how to play against that, they can beat her quite easily. I mean, you could say the same about my other Guardians, but I don't know. I always manage to pull something out, even if they know the Guardian well. Alright. Like, even like Bacchus, right? Like, Bacchus is probably one of the worst Guardians. Oh, but I think he's more fun than Terra. Oh, okay. That's a lot of damage. Might have to ult out here, or, uh, ink out. Ah. She missed everything, but I wasted both my relics when I could have saved them. I didn't think she would miss her ultimate. Unfortunate. I could have saved, could have saved my Aegis. Alright, let's get, uh, can we get Polly yet? Yeah, yeah, okay, this is good, this is good. We have a game ender, game ender here. She should only be able to get my tower, no Phoenix. Of course, fighting into fire minions is pretty hard for Thanatos. She 
Thantos gets a heal off them, but that's about it. They're still kind of difficult to deal with. They're going to work to my advantage. The Heart Seeker, how much was the Heart Seeker doing? 144? That was two abilities? That's not good, but oh well. That's just the way it is. Now, my ultimate hits for about 600 right now. That's good. If we get her in our combo, I'm pretty sure we win the game. It's a simple combo. You can see it a mile away, but, you know. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, you have power potion? I do not. Oh, unlucky. The animations are so long for Terra. I hate it. I despise it so much. Well, we have max max cooldown. We've only been at 30% for a while, which is, you know, good, but we'll be at 40% when we live. I might have to just play back and wait to sell boots for a better item. The silence is rough because she can stop me from fully dashing her. Ooh. No, she can't take my phoenix. Nope, not with fire minions. Not with fire minions. If you were a range god, maybe. Okay, this is our last shot. If, if we screw this one up, we might lose the game. Five to five. I've got determination. Phoenix spawn, that's okay. Her ultimate has become extremely good now, though, which is not, which is horrible for me. Oh, those animations are so long. I just, if I start ulting the second she starts ulting, I cannot confirm my two. But, can I take this with Polly? Her ultimate's down. Okay. My ult's up in 36 seconds. Hers is gonna be up around the same time. Nice. I swear with Terra, honestly hitting the two late game and when they have mo a more movement speed over boots, it's all luck. It's all luck that I hit that. You know, it's an ability that is so easy to juke that it just so happened that she uh, was still attacking me when she could have backstepped. GG. Yeah, so Terra, I do think she's A minus, she's viable. But I think she's extremely she gets extremely hard to win with the the more your opponent knows what to do against Terra. And honestly that is use movement speed against her and dodge all of her abilities, have beats, you know, get get away from the combo. Like you notice every time I started to ult, she would ult out. That's exactly the kind of stuff, you know. GG. There we go, Terra win. Diamond three. GG Wolf I'll show the stats real quick. And just for the hell of it, I'll show you my Terra stats. I mean, I'm not proud of them, but I have no shame. I have played Terra a lot, all right? So if you have played, I, that's my 100 games with her, 25% win rate, all right? That is a horrible win rate, but you can only criticize me if you have more than 100 games in duel with Terra. That's all I'm saying. All right, I'll see you guys next time.